If you need to scrape TikTok for specific niches, influencers, or videos, the search feature can be a great place to start. In this video, I'll show you how to legally scrape videos, accounts, music, and engagement stats from TikTok search results without violating the TikTok terms of service. To get started, head to TikTok.com in your web browser. You can be logged in or logged out, either is fine. Enter a search term or find one of these trending searches in your area. Right now I'm in Mexico, so everything's all in Spanish and kind of hard to read, but it should work fine for wherever you are. You can filter down to accounts or videos or even live if you want. The approach I'm showing you in this video will work with either of these filter options, but I'm just gonna scrape the top results for this video. You can also use some of these trending searches here on the right, or if they're filters that show up when you're logged in, feel free to use those as well. Now right click on the page somewhere and hit inspect. This will open up developer tools to begin automatically recording your network web traffic. I can see the requests TikTok is making to my browser. Now refresh the web page to force the TikTok API to send the first page of results back to our browser now that we're recording it in developer tools. If you wanna take a closer look at what's going on, type in full slash under the filter under the network tab, and you can see this API response from a TikTok API. This is optional, by the way. I'm just showing you guys what's in here in case you're a developer and wanna understand what's going on. But you can see this API sends this raw JSON data that's used to populate the front end up here, which is rendered in JavaScript. So I can see the number of plays here, 30 million. It's gonna to correspond to a part of this JSON object here showing engagement stats. And down here, you can see the rest of the first page of results represented down here in JSON format, which is much easier to scrape than the HTML shown on the web browser. And you can copy this full set of results by right-clicking on data and then copy value and then just paste it into a text editor. And now you have the structured JSON data of the first page of results from TikTok right here. If you're comfortable working with JSON, this should suffice so you can process some of this data. To scrape more data, just scroll through the results on TikTok and it will keep sending JSON responses to your browser for each page of the results. TikTok will send about 100 or so results in this example. So here I got 14 pages of results. Now, if you wanna get more, don't worry because you can just click on one of these other little suggestions here and it will keep reloading more data into your browser as we're recording in the same session. You can also just manually enter in other search terms if you have a fixed list of search terms you want to monitor. So I have a total of 31 API responses I wanna get out of this browser containing the TikTok data. I can do that by clicking this down arrow here under the network tab called export har and save that to my computer. Then using the link in the description, you can check out my no code TikTok API scraper featuring the har file web scraper. Just drag and drop your har file to the scraper and it will securely parse out the data from the search results in your browser. Nothing is sent to our servers until you click parse group. You wanna look for a group that starts with API slash search. The rest of this may vary if you did accounts or videos or some other filters, but just look at these fields here and you should see things like ID, desk, created time, etc. And down here below, I can see the 31 raw network requests from the TikTok API. If I click these blue links here, I can download all that raw JSON data I showed you earlier, but it's all grouped together here, making it easier to download the full results. But if you just wanna CSV file, click parse group here. And if you have a freemium account with us, you can download this data up to 10 rows per day, absolutely free. You wanna look for this data items collection. You'll see it has 350 rows where each row is a search result. So here we can see the ID of each search result that's internal to TikTok for a video post, the caption of each post, the timestamp in Unix epoch when it was created or hypothetically posted to TikTok. We can see information about each video, including image URLs to the cover images. They also send downloadable URLs to the TikTok video content. However, I don't believe they'll work outside of the browser. You can try to get it to work, but it's probably against the TikTok terms of service. If you're looking for influencers, this here is the author info section. So you get their full name, username, image URLs to their profile photo, and you get their bio. It's kind of a mess here because these are special Unicode characters, but you can see sometimes you get an email address and sometimes they put their Instagram handle in these bios as well. So if you download these, you can parse these out if you wanna get contact information. You also get columns regarding each music item, so the title of the music, image URLs, as well as the author name of the music and the album name of the music. These here are engagement stats. So you can see things like the share count, comment count, and play count that I showed you earlier. And it also shows the author engagement stats. So I can see the follower counts for all the authors here if I want to look for influencers and filter them between a certain range. This challenges here shows the first hashtag used in the post, but there's a better way to get this if you wanna do some hashtag analysis used in the content. 
And there's a bunch of other random fields here that I'm not gonna get into, but you're better off trying this for yourself if you wanna take a closer look at what all these fields do. If you scroll down, you'll see this collection here for challenges. So this has like 2,500 rows because each row is a hashtag used in a post as well as that post. In the CSV download on the left-hand side, I can see each row is a specific hashtag used in a post. And on the right-hand side, I get a reference to the parent post. So here's the ID of the post. And then on the right are all the other columns we saw earlier. But if I scroll to the left, I can see that this row is repeated this many times because it has eight different hashtags. So I get a row repeated for each hashtag used. So this can be useful if you're trying to do some hashtag analysis to see how many times each hashtag is used in a search result set. So hopefully you found this useful. Assuming TikTok didn't get banned in the US by the time you're watching this, let me know in the comments what other types of data you want me to show you how to scrape from TikTok and or what you're using this data for because I have no idea half the time. Thanks so much for watching until the end and be sure to watch this next video on scraping TikTok comments. Like and subscribe for more.